Well, hello there. My name is Cute Fuzzy Lion. Ah, who am I fooling? This is Post Production Pie with SRLounge.com. It's a Saturday. I'll be honest, I'm feeling a little weird. And uh, so for today's weekly Lightroom edit, we're going to do a portrait retouch. But we're going to do it with this lovely little image right here of this cute fuzzy lion shot in Africa, actually. Before we get to that, let's check out our lovely bumper. Okay, so this image was shot by my brother Eric, and when I say brother, uh, I don't mean brother in the literal sense because he is indeed not born of my mother, which would make him a brother from another mother. Uh, but seriously, he is actually Justin and Chris's brother, who are my partners in Linden Deer's Photography as well as SR Lounge. And we've been family forever. Well, we've been friends forever, and that pretty much makes us family. So Eric was going on a trip. This was actually a, a trip out to Africa for his honeymoon. And uh, he came up to me. He's like, Pi, dude, you got to teach me how to shoot photography because I'm going on a safari. I mean, we're doing this for the honeymoon. We're going to have so many great opportunities to shoot lions and bears. Well, not bears because this is Africa. But uh, all sorts of different types of wildlife. And he's like, you got to teach me, dude. And I'm like, okay, man, no problem. I'll teach you. Uh, what's your time frame? When are you leaving on your trip? He's like, four days. And I'm like, holy crap, four days. This is not good, dude. I'm like, do you have a camera? He's like, no. I was kind of hoping you'd suggest one for me. I'm like, look, just buy whatever you can get and uh, flip it to a wonderful smart mode called auto and then just go to town. And I told him, Eric, when you go out, do me a favor and shoot raw. When you get back, I'll show you how to do a little edit. We'll have a little more room to work with. And uh, Eric went out and he shot every single one of these images as a JPEG. So Eric, gosh dang it. <laughs> but he actually shot some really cool shots, Eric my man, my brother, and uh, they they drive incredibly close to these animals, in fact, when you're on these safaris, and it's kind of a little bit scary. But uh, there's a ton of different shots here. I thought we'd select this one out. And that's right. You heard me correctly. We're going to be doing a portrait retouch. We're just going to make our image look cool, but we'll see how it turns out. All right, so this is our JPEG image. Let's check out how it was shot. First, I want to see what kind of camera this was shot on. It was on a Canon EOS 50D. All right, and let's look at the EXIF information up in the top left. We can also see it in the bottom right as well in the metadata. But here we got 1 100th of a second at F5 ISO 400. Now, I taught Eric a little bit of our exposure equation uh, when he before he went out, and I told him that basically if you can't get a quick enough shutter speed, raise your ISO. Now, granted, for this type of shot, uh, there's not a lot of room to work with because he's on a 70 to 300 millimeter f4 to 5.6 lens. And he's at 200 millimeter, which puts him at a lowest aperture of f5. But for this shot, I still would have shot this at, say, 800 ISO. We could bring the shutter speed up to 200th of a second. And the reduction in overall, basically, detail from increasing the noise should be less than the reduction of detail from actual uh, motion that we see in the lion. But that's all right. This is a usable image, and we're going to do our best to uh, make it even better. So let's go right ahead and jump in the develop module by hitting D. And once again, we're going to start with our Lightroom 4 preset system. But don't worry. We will talk through all the adjustments that we're about to make. Now, first, I want to go and select our Vivid Landscape standard color because this is going to give us a nice bit of punch right from the top. And this is kind of an image meant to be you know, vivid. So we're choosing a vivid image. And you can see if I hit backslash right now, it does give us a nice bit of pop and color when compared to that original image. So already we're off to a good start. Now let's jump into our base adjustments. We're gonna go down to detail and I'm gonna do a little bit more detail boost in our clarity. Why? Because, well, this is an image that can definitely use it. It's all right, everybody. Let's pull our shadow down a little bit. I'm gonna to go to a medium darken. And that actually takes care of my exposure as well. So we get a nice exposure from it. Uh, saturation and everything else is okay where it's at. If I wanted to, I could check my noise. But really, I don't want to do any noise reduction because it will kill all this fine, fuzzy detail that we see here in the fur. And already, because we're dealing with a little bit of uh, motion blur from uh, the camera itself and also some probably movement from the lion, we don't want to do any noise reduction. It'll just further kind of kill the uh, overall detail. All right, so with a vignette, let's do a very light vignette just to kind of pull in the attention. And you can see that it subtly darkens the edges, but not to the point where it's noticeable as a vignette. And that's always our goal. And I might even lift it out just a titch. I say titch a lot, but that's okay. 
All right, this is looking good right here. I might take the clarity back just a little bit so it's a little more natural looking. So here is our final base adjustments. There's the before, there's the after. We have a much more vivid looking image. It looks nice, looks great. Now let's go through, talk through all of our adjustments as well as make some fine tuning tweaks. And the first thing I'm gonna do is bump up my temperature a little bit. The reason why is because we have this nice glow coming off the sun and I want it to look like it has that glow. Now a lot of you guys have actually asked us, will the preset system work with JPEGs? Of course, you saw it now working with JPEGs just fine. It is optimized with the sharpening settings and everything like that for RAW, but it'll work with JPEG no problem. But when we're making tweaks to JPEG images, you can see that we no longer have uh, full control over our white balance. We can adjust temperature and tint, but it works a little bit differently. So I'm gonna dial in say plus three on the temperature and leave tint about where it's at right now, just to get a nice little bit of subtle warmth. I might even go up to We'll just leave it at five. Five is totally okay. All right, let's go down. You can see our exposure's at negative 0.1. We have contrast raised a little bit, highlights pulled down to negative 20, and whites pulled down to negative 20, just to balance out some of these kind of brighter highlights on our fuzzy fuzzies fur. All right, and then we have our shadows and blacks down to negative 15 and negative 30. This gives us realistic blacks. If we didn't do this, if we pulled the blacks up, like say, whoops, that was temperature adjustment, not blacks. Okay, so if we didn't do that and we had, dang it, this was at five. Sorry, control z too many times. All right, so if shadows were up here and blacks were up here, we start to get that HDR look and that's not really what I'm going for here. I'm going for something realistic but that just pops a little bit more. So let's control z our way back to negative 15, negative 30. However much you guys want is kind of up to you. I wanna make sure I'm not clipping too much of my shadows and if I check out my highlight alert, you can see the only areas that are clipped are just these little dark, dark areas in like the corner of the eyes, the nose, the hair on the ears and stuff. And I'm actually okay with that. If we wanted to bring it back a tiny bit, we could just pull up the blacks, pull up the shadows by one click and it'll be a little bit better as you can see. All right, I'm hitting J by the way to show the highlight alert in case I didn't mention that. With our tone curve, uh, actually did we go through clarity? Yeah, we did. Uh, vibrance is at plus 15 just to give us a little bit of boost, but what you can do in this type of image, because we really want all the colors to be boosted equally, is tweak it with saturation instead. It works just as fine uh, in this situation as vibrance. It's gonna have a more powerful effect overall on the entire image, but vibrance is gonna just kind of focus more on skin tones as opposed to kind of, well, overall. And we use that mainly for portraits. And while this is a portrait of a lion, I don't think he'd mind a little bit more orange in his skin. So let's go down the tone curve. We have a subtle S curve built into this. Uh, if we wanted to make some tweaks to it, we could. I think it's totally fine where it's at. It's just a subtle contrast boosting S curve. And then down in our detail, we're going plus 70, 1.5, 10, 30, which is our standard sharpening settings. No noise reduction because we don't need to. And we have lens vignetting of negative 10 with a midpoint pulled all the way into 10 just to make it very subtle. All right, we're good as far as our base adjustments. Now, where do we want to go from here? Well, we can see from our lion's yellow teeth that he has a little bit too much red meat in his diet. So let's go and do a little uh, little teeth whitener over here. See the red meat, maybe he drinks too much Diet Coke, I don't know. I don't judge, I just fix it, guys. And I think this is one thing that our lion is really gonna appreciate when he sees this photo of himself, or she, when she sees this photo. It is, this is a female lion, isn't it not? Yeah, so we all know female lions are a little bit more, you know, conscientious of the way they look. They're a little bit more aware. Want to make sure that we boost their self-esteem. Okay, I'm going to pull it out of these teeth right here and just leave it on those outside ones and then brighten it a little bit so we kind of balance out the teeth so they all look nice and bright. And they're a little on the yellow side. Maybe we can pull it back a little bit more. Yeah, that's nice. Looks like we got some good Colgate whitener going on, much better than what it was before. Now let's go back and let's go into the eyes. We'll do a little eye brightener because Eric didn't bother using a reflector or any type of fill flash or anything like that. Uh, Eric, next time you're in this situation, I expect you to get off the Jeep and uh, you know just get up a little closer in this lion's face, add a little fill flash. You can bring an assistant, make your assistant do you know that kind of stuff because obviously uh, he or she may get eaten. Uh, it's just part of the job though. That's what I'm saying, it's just part of the job. I'm adding some exposure to the left eye along with boosting contrast so it matches in contrast to the right eye. Okay, we don't want it to not match. It looks about right right there. Let's zoom out and make sure it doesn't look tweaked. And the lion does not look tweaked. We don't want tweaked looking lions. 
All right, let's go and select a brush. We're gonna do, let's see, I don't know what we wanna do. Let's do a little nature color enhancer, all right? Let's go and drag this along these brush over here on the right and left side. Let's enhance this background, you know, this muslin that we have the lion in front of because we brought this lion in the studio. Actually, that'd be awesome one day, do a studio lion shoot. Mm-hmm, that's what I like, all right. I don't know if I want to enhance the fuzz anymore. The fuzz is looking good to me. I think we're uh, all right right there. We can tell, however, that our lion has not showered in a little while, and that is a problem because we have little clumps of fuzziness over here, and that's not sexy. That's just, it does not look good. Let's turn our opacity on our spot healing brush all the way up, and let's clone in a little section of hair to cover up that nastiness in the clumping. Eric, once again, uh, you need to really go through and comb the lion's hair before taking the shot. I mean, that's just that's just sloppy. That's not right. Look at how much time we could have saved if you would have just spent a little bit of time petting, um, speaking sweet nothings into the lion's ear, uh, and all that stuff that goes along with getting this gunk out of the hair. You know, treat it just like a dog, a big dog with very large teeth and uh, a little menacing. All right, we're gonna get rid of this last little clump right here. Is this the last one? I don't know. That one looks like I modified it, and that one <laughs> I need to fix. Let's not do that. Okay, let me go back and fix this little one. Let's raise or increase the size of it, and then move it out a little bit, hopefully a little bit better. Good enough, all right. That's looking pretty solid, guys. We have done our lovely little portrait retouch including whitening our teeth, we have brightened the eyes, we've done every, this is a handsome, well I should say beautiful lion, because I think it is a female. And here's the before, here's the after. Not too shabby. Let's do what I love to do and create a nice little black and white version of our lion, because I think it looked nice. A lot of good detail in this image, and it worked well. I'm hitting Control apostrophe, Command apostrophe on a Mac, and then we're just gonna brighten this up a tiny bit. And once again, if you guys are ever confused as far as how much to brighten an image, look at your histogram. Always check out the histogram. Check out this histogram right here on this color version. You can see that we have a nice amount of shadows, which is adding a good amount of contrast to our image. We also have a, a good amount, or at least a decent amount of highlights, where we're not completely blowing out those highlights, but they are nice and bright, adding a good amount of contrast there. We have clipped a little bit of the uh, shadows, but again, I think every image needs to have a little bit of clipped shadows and stuff, just to give that good contrast. So here was our original image. Here is our after, all right? And here's our black and white version right there. So that's it, everybody, for this uh, special edition of a portrait retouch of our lion. Thanks, Eric, for the image, and uh, we'll see you all in the next episode.